Today, we will explore how to navigate your Echo Teacher homepage. To get started, you will need to log in to Echo as a teacher. First, type in your school's unique Echo URL. Next, enter your given username and password and select Login. If you are brand new to Echo, your homepage will look something like this. Take a look in the upper left-hand corner. You should see the words Teacher App. If you see something other than Teacher App, come over to the right side of your screen, click on your profile picture, and select Teacher. If you do not have the Teacher option, contact your Echo administrator and let them know that you need Teacher permissions. This is your Teacher homepage. Let's start by taking a look at your top toolbar. Here you will see three different icons, the Manage Courses icon, the Help Center icon, and your profile. The Manage Courses icon is where you have the option to create courses, view courses, and view past courses. The Help icon is where you can find support with anything ECHO related. Click on the Help icon. Here you will see a search bar where you can type in a question and access hundreds of documents on various ECHO related topics. Next, click on your profile. Within your profile, you can toggle between your teacher and student account. Your teacher account is where you create courses and content for your students to access. Your student account is where you can access courses that you are enrolled in as a student. For example, you will be enrolled in the Echo 101T course as a student to help you learn more about Echo. Under your profile, you can also adjust account settings, choose a theme color, change your password, and enroll in a course. Now let's take a look at the main menu. The main menu is in the upper left-hand corner of your home page. Here you have access to many different tools. First you will see Needs Grading, which is a quick way to access assignments that have been submitted by students but haven't been graded yet. You have Notes, which is a feature that has to be turned on by your Echo Admin that allows students to take notes on their coursework. Communication, which is a quick way to send out information to your students calendar where you can see upcoming due dates for activities in your courses, people which gives you a glance at student data and course performance and progress, community where you have access to members of NTN as well as hundreds of vetted ready-to-use projects and course content, the NTN resource library where you can access categorized resources on all things PBL, and the school browser, which allows any staff member to browse courses, agendas, projects, course content, and student grades within a school. You can also access the Help Center as previously shown in the top toolbar here. Now let's take a look at a teacher account that has courses and student enrollments. If you look in the top toolbar, you'll notice a new icon. This is the clipboard tool. It is a tool that allows you to create personalized activities for a specific student or group of students that is then reflected only in their gradebook. To learn more about the Clipboard tool and how it works, click the link down below in the video description. If you come over to the main menu, you will now see that the Clipboard tool is available here as well. Below the main menu, we now have easy access to all the courses we are enrolled in as a teacher. If you click on a course, you have quick access to preview your course from a student's view via the Activities button. You have quick access to the course gradebook, student reports, the People tool, which shows course progress and performance, and the course editor, which allows you to add or edit content in this specific course. Let's take a look at our course cards. Each course card has a set of easy access tools. Simply click on the course card to enter a course and view it from a student's perspective. You can also quickly access the course landing page and the agenda tool through the activities button. Here is the course gradebook, student reports, the people tool, and the course editor. There you have it. Everything you need to know about the basic navigation of your teacher homepage. For more information or support with anything ECHO, visit the ECHO Help Center at help.echo-ntn.org.